Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a nurse and currently living with stage four non-small cell lung cancer. When I was diagnosed, I felt like I was on a roller coaster. I could hardly think straight, much less take in what my doctor was telling me. In the days that followed, my initial shock changed to anxiety, concern for my family, and the terrible feeling that there was no hope. I felt overwhelmed. But talking with my oncologist and cancer care team, I learned a lot more about my type of cancer and about the treatment choices I had, and this helped. The more I learned, the more empowered I felt, and I believe it's important to share what I've learned on my journey with other lung cancer patients and their families. In this video, I'm going to explain a new type of lung cancer treatment that I've been taking. It's called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy uses a different approach than all other cancer treatments. It re-energizes a very powerful cancer fighter, your own immune system. This new treatment is now being tested in clinical trials across the United States and throughout the world for patients like me with non-small cell lung cancer and for patients with some other types of cancer too. What we now know is that for many patients, immunotherapy offers a new level of hope. Before I describe how cancer immunotherapy clinical trials work, let me step back and share the big picture. When you're diagnosed, you and your family will talk with your oncologist and others on your medical care team about treatment options. One key aspect that will guide this conversation is the stage of your cancer, or how much it has developed and spread. If you have stage 1, 2, or 3 lung cancer, you can potentially be cured with standard treatments. But like me, the majority of patients with lung cancer are diagnosed with advanced disease, also known as stage 4 lung cancer. Advanced disease means the cancer has spread beyond the lungs to the lymph nodes, liver, bones, brain, or other sites. Doctors don't use the word cure in discussing treatments for stage 4 cancer because typically what they can offer is some level of cancer control. Most surgery and radiation therapy at this stage is used to improve a patient's symptoms and quality of life. The current standard of care treatment for advanced lung cancer is chemotherapy. The chemotherapy drugs spread throughout the body, disrupting the cancer cell's ability to divide and grow. However, over time, the cancer cells can become resistant to chemotherapy or targeted therapies, and tumors once again start to grow. Other drugs may be tried, but eventually they stop working too. This is why medical researchers are working so hard to find additional lung cancer treatments. The newest treatment is an old idea that's come of age, immunotherapy. To understand how cancer immunotherapy works, first we need to think about the immune system itself. Your immune system has many different parts that all interact to try and keep you healthy. Its main job is to protect you from microscopic bacteria and viruses, the kinds that give you a cold or other infections. But your immune system also detects and eliminates your own cells that get sick, including cancer cells. So how does it do all this? Well, the immune system is made up of different kinds of cells and the molecules or chemicals that they produce. These cells and molecules work closely together to identify invaders, sound the alarm, and coordinate and direct the attack response. I learned that what's really important is that the immune system does all this using a series of finely tuned checks and balances. Some immune components are activators. They sound the alarm and tell the rest of the immune system to go, 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 attack. Others are inhibitors. Their job is to make sure the attack doesn't get out of hand, and they tell the rest of the immune system to slow down or stop the attack. Together, these immune system checks and balances are called immune checkpoint pathways. Here's where we come back to lung cancer. In advanced lung cancer, the cancer cells overwhelm the immune checkpoint pathways to force the immune system into stopping its attack against the cancer cells. They do this by convincing immune cells, called T cells, that everything is okay. When cancer researchers discovered this, they realized they'd found a new way to treat cancer, prevent the cancer cells from blocking your body's immune response. So cancer researchers call these new types of immunotherapy drugs checkpoint blockade therapies, or PD-1 inhibitors. When you take an immunotherapy drug, the drug prevents the cancer cells from triggering your T cells' stop command. Then your immune system is reactivated to recognize the invaders and sound the alarm, causing an immune system attack of the cancer cells in your body. 
Today, immunotherapy lung cancer treatments are so new that they are only offered through clinical trials, like the one I'm in. Clinical trials are medical research studies involving real people. These trials are critical to improving cancer treatment because they provide the scientific proof that new therapies are safe and effective. Today's standard cancer treatments, such as chemotherapies, were first tested in clinical trials. Every year in hospitals across the United States, there are hundreds of ongoing clinical trials on topics from cancer to diabetes and heart disease. So clinical trials are essential to improving treatment options for patients. But the question I had to ask myself was whether a particular clinical trial was right for me. Every clinical trial is carefully designed to answer a specific question. That question is outlined in the clinical trials protocol, or detailed plan created by the doctors leading it. The clinical trials protocol specifies the reason for the study, who can join. For example, a trial might only accept newly diagnosed patients who haven't received any treatment yet. The treatment that will be used and how it will be used, and the type of side effects that might be expected. The advantage for a patient in taking part in a clinical trial is that you get first access to innovative new drugs and the possibility of benefiting from a brand new treatment. Today, there are many types of lung cancer immunotherapy clinical trials, and each one is designed to explore different possibilities, such as a single new immunotherapy treatment, a combination of immunotherapy treatments, or a combination of an immunotherapy with chemotherapy. I learned that clinical trials are categorized into three distinct types or phases of treatment development. Phase 1, 2, and 3 trials are each focused on answering a different part of the key question, whether a new treatment is safe and effective. These cancer clinical trials rarely use placebo controls, in which some patients receive the new treatment and others get no treatment at all. We've learned a lot about the benefits of immunotherapy from the several thousand patients like me that have already taken part in lung cancer clinical trials. However, not everyone who tries immunotherapy gets better. In fact, the lung cancer response rate, or how many patients saw their cancer tumors shrink, is about the same for immunotherapy and chemotherapy treatments. But what has inspired doctors is the positive difference between immunotherapy and any other advanced lung cancer treatment, immunotherapy's response maintenance, or how long the treatment effects last. With lung cancer chemotherapy, the response maintenance time is about four to six months, and with targeted therapy is about 12 months. After this time, the cancer becomes resistant to the treatment and tumors regrow. With lung cancer checkpoint blockade immunotherapy, the response maintenance is, as in my case, often a year or more. What's unique is that immunotherapy often continues to work after treatments stop. My immune system is still fighting the cancer even though I've finished taking my immunotherapy drugs. And for those who are eligible, immunotherapy may offer an alternative treatment even after the standard chemotherapy options have been exhausted. Based on the success of previous clinical trials, the United States Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has already approved the use of other immunotherapies for the treatment of melanoma, a type of skin cancer, and for prostate cancer. As with all cancer treatments, immunotherapy does have potential side effects. Because these treatments energize your body's immune response, immune cells sometimes also attack healthy cells. This immune attack of healthy tissues, or autoimmunity, causes inflammation. Some of these immune checkpoint blockade side effects include arthritis, skin rashes, diarrhea or cramping related to bowel inflammation and inflammation of the liver, endocrine glands, or lungs. About half of immunotherapy patients develop mild inflammation-related side effects. These are usually easy to manage, but sometimes you might need to take additional medications. It's important to let your doctor or nurse know if you experience any problems while on treatment. Infrequently, patients experience inflammation that's severe enough that they need to stop taking the immunotherapy treatment. This is why patients with an existing autoimmune disorder, such as rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's disease, usually can't take checkpoint blockade immunotherapy drugs. If you decide to consider lung cancer immunotherapy treatment, it's time for a detailed discussion with your oncologist. The first thing your doctor will check is whether your medical insurance covers your participation in a clinical trial. Most do. A key part of determining whether a particular clinical trial is right for you is the specific type of lung cancer you have because each trial is focused around one type. 
Most stage 4 lung cancer patients are a candidate for at least one immunotherapy clinical trial. If you find a clinical trial for which you're eligible, whether or not you join is completely your choice and you can leave the trial and opt for another treatment at any time. Every clinical trial includes a patient consent form that explains every detail from the medical procedures involved to the schedule of treatment. This was when my family and I made sure we understood exactly what would take place. Before signing the consent form is the time to ask the questions you might have. Why do the doctors who designed the trial believe that the immunotherapy treatments being studied may be better than the standard treatment? Does the clinical trial involve a placebo group? What will happen if there are side effects? I decided to take part in a lung cancer immunotherapy clinical trial, and it's been a great choice for my health, and I feel positive that I've made a difference by advancing cancer treatment. So what's the main thing I've learned on my journey as a lung cancer patient? Take your time and consider all the options. You don't have to rush into a decision. I found new hope through an immunotherapy clinical trial. I hope that now you feel empowered to talk with your doctor and family and make the choice that feels best for you.